Welcome to the coldest week of our bus conversion. You guys will be like, oh, this week's supposed to be cold, so I'm going to be doing a lot of work in the shop this week. No, seriously, I'm going to be doing a lot of work in the shop trailer here, getting shelves done, building things for the bus. We'll also be trying to get the diesel heater in. So that's kind of the plan for this week, because it's cold. Like negative 20, 25 degree cold weather. All right, guys, diesel heater update. Uh, she just failed this morning. I won't start. Um, it was negative 17 last night. And what happened, I believe, is this filter got all frosted up. Uh, this was hanging outside. It frosted up and then stopped working. I'll tear it apart later and I'll show you. But I've got a backup one I'm gonna slap in. I'm gonna switch this out. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to this style without the, without the red case. Uh, then if I need to swap this, it's easier to work on. Everything's separate. Instead of having to take everything apart, I can just take a heater off uh, and get some heat back in here. All right, guys, got the diesel heater taken apart. It doesn't look all that dirty. It's not bad. So I don't know if maybe my glow plug went. Uh, so if any of you guys know how to test these, that might be what it was. But you can see the liquid. There is some liquid in there from, uh, from when I tried to start. Guys, okay, so I'm working on the diesel heater mount for the bus. Uh, this is my old red one. Um, it has a nice frame and I had it set up on some aluminum riser blocks. So I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna cut off these sides and mount the new one to this. All right guys, taking this panel back off. I'm gonna be mounting my uh, diesel heater up in here. So I'll get this off and take a look and show you where I'm gonna, thinking I'm gonna put it. So this will all move back once the diesel heater's in there. So I'm gonna be using this old tank uh, for a diesel tank. This is a bracket I'm gonna mount to the sidewall underneath. I'm going to use this old bracket also, mount the heater up onto, so that'll kind of sit like this. I'm still putting the, uh, the metal plate down here, keep it from bumping any of my any of my wood. And then I've got a wall in the bus that I put up, and this will fasten to that wall and hold support the heater. <laughs> Good morning guys, uh, it's negative 20 outside right now, so I had the diesel heater on low last night on three, like I wasn't in here. It got down to, it's 43 right now uh, in the shop. So I just turned it back up to high. Um, so hopefully it'll get back up in the 60s, 50s, 60s uh, with the cold temp. So today I'm working on a couple SE4 sheets. I've got to sand out. up and what's going on this week. I think I'll probably share a couple of other things that happen behind the scenes this week since we don't have a ton going on in the bus. We gotta add some content, right? Like, come on. It can't be a boring video. Like, no one wants a boring video. So our beautiful future living room, we have priming on all of the ceiling, on all of the shelves, and so that's looking neat and dandy. Over there we have um, our little board thing, that still needs to get primed, but it's still looking great. Then the kitchen area is all primed, waiting and ready for cabinet doors and then painting. Our hallway is primed and we have our boards on. We just have to put trimming on all of it and then final painting. Closets, bathroom, everything is primed and as soon as weather allows, and a couple other small projects are done, we are ready for final painting. And once final painting is done, I think we can put flooring in and finally make this look like a ready to live in home. So today I'm working on outlets. Uh, we're using an RV style plug outlet for all the 12 volt lights. Time to brave the cold weather again. <laughs> so. A little bit warmer in the bus. I think we're up to like 30 degrees in here. So it's much better. But outside, whew. It is freezing, 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 freezing. Ugh. Okay, get to the house as quickly as possible, get my coffee made, and sit down and finish that video. I can't turn off my camera because I have gloves on and I'm not taking them off. 
All right, got my coffee and ready to get some video editing done. All right, guys, so I'm gonna do a video out here. I tried doing a video inside. Too much energy. I tried doing a video inside, but it's just too noisy with the exhaust going down. Uh, so I got the diesel heater installed under here. So ignore all the mess. Uh, the mini split's gonna probably come out today or tomorrow and get flipped around. So that's been uh, this week's project, which is all a mess. I need to clean up tools now. So I've got the vent. This will be running under the tow kick. We got it coming up there and shooting over. I've got the air intake, so this is the uh, heat coming in. We've jumped about 10 degrees. Yeah, 10 degrees in the last hour. So definitely improvement. And it's also getting uh, dark outside, so it's cooling off pretty quick. And then I've got the other one coming in here. This will come through the wall here with a vent that it can push into the bedroom or into the hallway. So it'll have that spinning vent here. Uh, so for the bus, didn't get a whole lot done on the bus this week. Uh, we had negative 20, 17 to 20 degree temperatures most of the week. week I got the electrical switches uh, for the 12 volt lights in and I got the diesel heater installed. I finished that up today. Hopefully we'll see tomorrow. It's supposed to be warmer in the 25 to 30 range tomorrow. Uh, so I'm expecting the bus to be 65, 70 degrees with the one diesel heater. The other thing I did a lot this week was working in the shop, trying to get lights up and different things finished. So you can see I got uh, a second 3D printer put together. I've been working in here, uh, building things for the bus this week, getting lights up so I can get rid of these strip lights. I hate these strip lights. I switched to these uh, with the cold. I mean, it's 70 degrees in here right now and I've got the diesel heater on low. Um, so yeah, it'll the diesel heater will cook me out of here. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like and subscribe and uh, have a good one.